Hello and welcome to Legendary Studios Canada. I'm your host Jacob and today we will be talking about the 10 shortest wars in history. Number 10. Counting down from 10. We have the Georgian-Armenian War of 1918. The Georgian-Armenian War of 1918 was a short border dispute that was fought in December of 1918, right around the end of the events of World War I. The dispute was between the Democratic Republic of Georgia and First Republic of Armenia. They were fighting over various different territories, such as Lori, Yevakedi, and Borcholo districts, which until 1917, it had been part of the Tiflis government of the Russian Empire. Some of their territories were originally occupied by the Ottoman Empire until the end of World War I. At that time, the Ottoman Empire withdrew from the area and the Armenians were able to swoop in and take control. During that time, a conflict broke out that lasted up to 24 days until the British military brokered a ceasefire and joint administration between the two countries. However, that did not last for very long as the Soviets came in and took control of that area just two years later. Number nine. Coming in at number nine, we have the Norman Conquest of 1066. The Norman Conquest was a military conquest of England by William the Conqueror of Duke of Normandy. His goal was to achieve victory over King Harold II, Duke of Wessex. Now, William was supported to be named successor in 1051. However, in 1066, William actually rebelled against Herod with over 5,000 knights. It only took 17 days for William to overthrow Herod with his knights and take up a position to become King of England. Number 8. Coming in at number 8, we have the Serbian-Bulgarian War of 1885. A war ended up erupting. A war broke out between Serbia and Bulgaria in 1885 despite the Treaty of Berlin. The primary argument was that they both believed that they were entitled to more territory that they were actually supposed to get from the Ottoman Empire. The King of Serbia had rejected the idea of a unified Bulgaria and uniting under Bulgaria. After just 14 days of fighting, the Serbians were defeated by the Bulgarians and the war was over after only just two weeks. Number seven. Coming in at number seven, the Indo-Pakistani War of 1971 was a military conflict related to the Bangladesh Liberation War on India's Western Front. The war between India and Pakistan lasted a mere 13 days when India quickly defeated Pakistan in a very short battle. Number six. So coming in at number six, we have the War of the Stray Dog of 1925. The War of the Stray Dogs, or also known as Incident at Petrich, was a crisis involving the conflict between the Greeks and the Bulgarians near the border town of Petrich after the accused killing of a Greek captain and a century of Bulgarian troops. Now this incident created many more uh, border incidents and disputes between Greece and Bulgaria. The conflict itself only lasted 11 days, where 50 people died, about $45,000 in damages had to be paid out. 
In the end, the war ended in a ceasefire negotiated by the League of Nations, or the modern day version of that would be the UN. They did this by getting the Greek troops to pull out of Bulgaria and pay for compensation for the damages that they caused in their neighboring country. Number five. Coming in at number five, the Slovenian War of Independence in 1991. The Slovenian Independence War, also known as the Ten Days War, was a conflict where a Slovenian militia in Slovenian Yugoslavia was fighting to separate from the country. The Separatist and the Yugoslav People's Army battled it out to regain territory. After just 10 days, there was a ceasefire called and the Bragoni Agreement was signed between the Separatists and the Yugoslavians. They essentially provided a compromise and European sponsorship. It ultimately, that ended in a partnership and an agreement for independence for both countries. Number four. Coming up at number four, the Six Day War of 1967. The Six Day War, also known as the June War or as the Third Arab-Israeli War. It was a short war that took place in June of 1967. The war was fought between Israel, Egypt, Jordan, and Syria. At the end of the Six-Day War, the Israeli army ended up winning the war, and Israel took possession of the Sinai Peninsula, the Gaza Strip, the West Bank, the Old City, and the Golan Heights. Number three. Coming up next, we have number three, the Russian-Georgian War of 2008. The Russo-Georgian War was a war between Russia and Georgia, with separate regions such as Ossetia, Abkhazia. Now this was taking place in August of 2008. <clears throat> As tensions started to escalate and, and the different countries were at a stalemate, Georgia launched an attack on Ossetia. They went on to capture most of Tiskanevili. During the conflict, Russia put troops within southern Ossetia, with both infantry troops and naval patrols along the Georgian coast. They started to raid bases in western Georgia. They ended up pushing troops back and retaking certain areas like Zogdidi, Polti, Senka, and Gori, while also creating cyber attacks to help collapse systems in Georgia. After just only five days of this ruthless war between Georgia and Russia, at this point the Western world had seen enough and that is when the President of France, Nicolas Sarkozy, negotiated a ceasefire. The Georgians cut off diplomatic relations with Russia and Russia pulled out its troops out of Georgia. Number two. Coming in at number two, the Football War of 1969. The Football War was a brief war in 1969 between El Salvador and Honduras, in which there was riots and both countries launched attacks on each other. These events unfolded after the FIFA World Cup game. After 100 hours of people fighting over a football game, the Organization of American States organized a ceasefire and both countries ended up withdrawing their troops after just 100 hours. This would be like Canadians from the East Coast and West Coast getting into it over hockey. Number one. And in our number one spot, the Anglo-Zanbar War of 18. 
96. The Anglo-Zanbar War was a brief conflict between the British Empire and the East African island, Sultanate of Zanbar. Following the suspicious death of the previous Zoltan, Zanbari prince Khalid bin Bargash refused to accept the British Empire's preferred successor, and instead they occupied the Sultan's palace, which then prompted Imperial cruisers to fire on his position. The war lasted no longer than 40 minutes, making it one of the shortest wars in recorded human history. Now that is the 10 shortest wars in human history. Thanks for watching and if you want more historical information videos like this one, please remember to hit that red subscribe button down below. Hit that like button, it really lets us know that you like that video. And remember, Hit us up in the comments. Tell us what you would like to see next. And remember, make sure to also hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from us in the future. Or in the past, whatever way or wherever you may be. Thanks for watching. This has been Jacob from Legendary Studios Canada. And I'm out.